gonna talk about the Ben Pat four post lifts. All right, what we have here is the HD9XW. Now this is the uh, HD9XW right here. All right, as you can tell, it's, uh, it's pretty tall. Uh, you can kind of see kind of the clearance here and you can probably go up one more notch, uh, but that'd be about it, uh, maybe two. Um, but you see kind of the height where you're at. And then uh, over here uh, to the left, and I'll show you in just a second. Uh, you can kind of see the white Camaro and then the uh, black 69 Camaro right here. And that is an actual HD9 lift, the standard HD9 lift. And uh, that's the difference in between uh, kind of the heights. Now the, um, also the HD9 maybe could go up one more notch. Uh, and then the HD9 XW, basically the difference that I've been able to see in it is the, uh, the, the length and the height. It's not necessarily the width. Uh, the HD9 offers you uh, two different um, mounting points for this uh, right here, which is uh, this is the uh, ramp on one side, which is the non-hydraulic side, and it can either be at its where it's at, which is the narrow, versus it can be moved over approximately four to five inches to the wide, uh, which gives you the ability to kind of you know, use, you know, bigger vehicles, wider vehicles, trucks, you know, stuff like that, which we have put the, uh, on the HD9, we put a, uh, the new 2017 Tundra, which is a pretty wide, uh, full-size truck. We placed it on the HD9 XW with the narrow pattern and the tires kind of, uh, maybe have about two to three inches tire kind of sticking over the side, but, uh, plenty, plenty of tire on the lift so uh, anyway so that's uh, that's that and let's show you some other different all right here's the mounting plates for the HD 9 this is the gray one and then this is the blue one you can see the difference in between the size of the mounting flanges and the way that they have the uh, post actually at the edge of the mounting flange versus the blue one is not at the edge of the mounting flange and the blue one actually happens to be a lot bigger than the gray mounting flange. Also the addendum, you can see the bolt in the gray one, that's the addendum that actually has the ladder attached at the bottom to hold it out and spaced out. And I'm not really sure what the reason that is, but we, we did the addendum as it was instructed. The blue one does not have that addendum. So we can only conclude that maybe that's the older design, the blue one versus the gray one. Anyway, they both operate just fine. We've not had any issue either way. But uh, there's a difference in between the HD9 differences. So. <coughs> All right, guys, when you're installing these lifts, all right, these things kind of uh, kind of make it clear. All right, so right here, these are the air lines for the uh, air release for the safety latches. All right, so the when you see these metal tubes here, that's what that is. All right, now it goes to a central, and via these couplings here, it goes through here. 
All right, so it connects. It's got four places, which are four posts. All right, and then if you'll, when once you connect them all, they'll go to a central airline that will run over into a central air where it comes out here and it comes out to this valve right here. All right. This is the hydraulic cylinder. It's hard to kind of see with this camera, but it's a hydraulic cylinder. All right. And it basically pulls on all four cables from each four posts. All right, so if you'll look, there's this solid thing right here that slides on the ramp. And you also have a plate right here. And these, four, these two things work together. All right, so you have to use both to make it work. If you use one, it will tear it up. Ask me how I know. Also, making sure using the instructions that you get each cable on the correct pulley. Big help. You want to definitely lubricate inside and out the post. All right, you've got plastic or phenolic couplings that run on these things inside these posts and all the stuff needs to be lubricated metal to metal contact is not a cool thing all right so there's also a deal with these all right so these supports that go across here which are going to be the the long pieces you'll have in your kit all right they'll have small slots on one side and then wider slots on the other side, all right? And the difference is, is you've got two pulleys, single groove on one side, and two grooved on the other side. So this side, which was, should be the back side or in relation to the hydraulics reservoir this side should actually be the wider side we'll have the thicker side and you can kind of see it there it's kind of hard to see so that'll kind of help you out with the layout Impact lifts. I'd like to thank Casey, Loschel, Ben, and Harvey for helping out. This is Street Power. Hey guys, here at Street Power, we want to make your video experience awesome. If you like our videos, hit the like button and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can keep on seeing our original content made just for you.